the number of COVID positive patients in Los Angeles County hospitals crept closer to 4,000 on Wednesday, January 12, as health officials continue to urge residents to avoid non essential activities in the coming weeks amid the surge in cases fueled by the highly contagious Omicron variant. There are three. 912 people with the coronavirus in county hospitals, according to the latest state figures released Wednesday. Perhaps more alarming is a recent spike in the number of those patients in intensive care, which rose from 513 Tuesday to 536. That's an increase of over 200 people in the last eight days. However, Dr. Christina Gali, the county's health services director, has said that despite rising patient numbers, the Omicron-fueled surge is playing out differently in hospitals than earlier surges. She said last fall, about one-third of COVID patients wound up in ICU care, but that number is only about 10% to 15% this time around, at least in the four county-operated hospitals, which likely reflect conditions in other medical centers. She also said that about 40% of COVID-positive patients at the county hospitals were admitted specifically because of the virus, while the rest only learned they were infected upon admission for something else. During the last surge, 80% to 90% of the COVID patients were admitted due to virus-related illness. Golly said current staffing shortages are creating more critical conditions at hospitals. She pointed to large number of healthcare workers who have retired or moved into non-frontline positions. She also noted that the surge in COVID infections has also impacted healthcare workers, leaving many unavailable to work due to illness or exposure. The situation has also led to longer ambulance response times, in part due to large numbers of workers at private ambulance companies who have failed to meet COVID vaccination requirements, leaving them unable to work, combined with a high amount of people calling in sick. The time it takes for ambulance crews to offload patients at hospitals has also risen, she said, thanks to staffing and space issues. Gali said three area hospitals, Mission Community Hospital in Panorama City, Little Company of Mary in San Pedro and Antelope Valley Hospital, have all established surge units to help handle the increase in patients. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer has urged residents to avoid dangerous activities in the coming weeks, particularly those that are indoors and involve mingling with unvaccinated or higher-risk people. Fueled by the Omicron variant of COVID-19, the county is experiencing pandemic high levels of daily infection reports and the highest rate of virus transmission to date. The county on Tuesday reported 34, 827 new infections, along with 15 more deaths. While we're in the surge, we do ask that you exercise more caution, even if you're vaccinated and boosted, Ferrer said during Tuesday's Board of Supervisors meeting.